I don't know if it's true or not. All I know is where's the proof, whether it's true or not. With all these cameras the government claim they have, if it's that serious with these Rashad Jamal accusations, just pull the camera footage out of the microwaves, the radio boxes y'all have. Where's the DNA proof papers of all of that? Other than that, I really don't care. Whether we're free or not, the enemy is still on the planet. Who's going to unalive them? We can free everybody out of the jail cells, the prisons. We can know mountains or trees. We can know the atmosphere is cleansing itself. Or we can know that it's being sprayed constantly by these quote-unquote chemtrails. Who's going to unalive the enemy doing it? Who is the enemy? Who are the enemies? And where are they located? As I said, we can free the real souls. We can even free the fake ones. That still won't kill the beast. That's all I'm saying. Pay agent, not an agent, true seeker. The mess is still going to get out regardless if we're locked up, dead, hung, missing, tied up, tortured, etc. But why are we not linking up in real life? Besides saying free all day, telling somebody f f free this person, that person. I don't want nobody saying free me. Bring your ass to the jail, prison, location, wherever I am and fight me out of that location, period. This goes for all spiritual leaders, teachers, gurus, agents, non-agents. Why are we not fighting in real life? I mean, all been in Georgia. Waiting for niggas to come together. Where y'all at? I'll quit my job today. But don't flake out and change your mind. But see, it don't even matter if I drop my location or not. Because I know niggas not going to come. Because they ain't even come for Rashad Jamal. And this is just me speaking in general.